Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM SIF that is Services Integration Framework. In today's session, we will see what are the challenges or what are the issues we, we can come across whenever we use the CleanSpot API. So let's start today's session. The first enter you might encounter during the use of the CleanSpot API is nothing but Aura 01722 invalid number. The error message will look like I means you will get in the because cleans or the uh, CleanSpot function it is used in the Java. So whenever you execute the Java program or whenever you use this CleanSpot put function in your custom web services or the custom application you will get this error in your uh, error message if you are using the java then in the exception block you will get this error invalid number what is the root cause of this issue the root cause of this issue is normally this error occurs when the database accepts numbers to be inserted in a different format and you are passing the the number in different format for example the number is expected in the spanish format and you are sending in another different format then this kind of error might come suppose you are working on the database suppose in spanish language and your data is inserted in, in any other format then in that case this situation come up, may come normally the informatic mdm tool is use for various languages for example English Chinese Spanish etc so format of the number format will be vary so that is the reason if the your informatic product is is set to the particular language and your data uh, your input data is in the different format in that case this error might come across what is the solution for that so in order to customize the number format we have to write one cleanse function and the cleanse function will look like this so you have to create like Spanish format this program you have to write and create the cleanse function then in the main uh, for example in this main method you can define the double like one two three two one zero zero one then we can get the format for the Spanish local using the number format dot get instance a new local ES that is for Spanish and uh, it is in the uh, so your local will get changed and you will get after the local get changed you can format using the number format class and it will give the formatted data so this formatted data can be used in the cleanse function so if you run this program you will get the what is the number format in the Spanish language so if you use this cleanse function or if you customize your code in your program then that above mentioned error will not occur so this aura 01722 invalid number will not occur anymore second error is SIP 23016 error lookup value any random number I have given the sample number here 121200 for column party ID it is party ID is again any custom column is found but the hub state minus one insufficient so this something like this error will come across whenever you use the cleanspot api what is the root cause of this the root cause is, uh, root cause is lookup column selected other than row id object suppose you have the row id object picky source or if you are in any, any other custom column such as first name last name party id which are used for the lookup purpose so normally this issue occurs other than the row ID object suppose you are not choosing the row ID object for the lookup but you are using any custom column or any other column in your table as a lookup and the respective record is sub deleted that means hub state indicator is minus one so the two things first is you are not using the lookup on the row ID object instead of that you are using the lookup on the other column and the second thing is so the column on which you are means using the lookup and the record is sub deleted such record is sub deleted then 
you will get this error. So if you're not using the ROID object and you had soft deleted record, you will get this error if you use the CleanSpot API. Then how can you fix this issue? In order to fix this issue, what is the lookup record you're using? You have to promote it. That means you have to make that record as active. And then and then only you can use the lookup. Other than, otherwise you will get this error. Next error is, this This is a common error, not only for the clean spot, but if you are going to use the put API. So this situation will occur. The clean spot or the put operation updates existing except record when it is newer than the incoming record in the MDM. Suppose you have already loaded one data in the MDM hub. Now using the put or the clean spot API, you are pushing a new record with the new source last updated. So this is the scenario. So in this case, what is the case scenario? In this case, the record get directly updated. Why? Uh, while in the case of the like suppose scenario, this is online clean spot and the port API. For the batch mode, we can load the data taking from the ETL or taking from the source and pushing into the uh, pushing into the uh, target data target uh, table that is base object table so in this case what is the scenario so description is here clean spot or the put update the record when the source last update of the existing x-ray is higher than the last update date of the incoming record in the batch load update the existing record is not updated when it is newer than the incoming record so so what happens what is the scenario here so clean spot and the put api never checks whether the record is really new or really updated or not but that will be checked by the batch load because batch load we have the delta detection for example if you enable delta on the first name that means if first name changes then and then only record will update it will not check whether any dead column such as source last update date or the last update date has changed However, in case of the clean spot and the put, it will not check the delta column. For example, even if you are not, even if you do not have any change in the last full name, uh, the first name, and you have just updated the last updated source, last updated or the last updated column, then the record will be get updated. So that is the difference with the clean spot and the put. It it will not check the delta detection column, and it will directly update. While in case of batch load it will check the delta column and then and then only it will load so that is the difference it is like um, normal behavior of the mdm and it is expected now suppose if you want to achieve the clean boot and the put api should update by looking the delta column so how can you achieve that so in order to achieve that you have to use the gate api so using the gate API, you have to pass the record or to the values you are using for the look uh, for the delta detection and check whether such a record exists with the last update date or not. If it is updated, uh, if it exists and last update date is now the greater than the existing record, then you can use the clean spot and the put API to update the record. So this is what it is mentioned in this. So root cause for this issue is or for this scenario is delta detection in API calls and calls can be achieved by the combination of gate and the clean spot calls so whenever we see the delta detection it is nothing but it uses two api gate and clean spot the clean spot operation alone does not perform delta detection and always update the existing except record even when an incoming record has older last updated so that is the scenario so even the last even your incoming is have the different last update date compared to your existing record last update date the record will be update, updated it will not check for the date it will only check if it is the batch batch load and you have the delta enable on that particular column so in order to fix this scenario we can use the gate api to retrieve the existing except record and compare its source last update date with the last update date column then insert the record using clean spot or the put. If the last update date is newer than the source last update date of the existing 
accept record so this is the way you can fix it next error is SIP 23004 error input process sub SIP error is 28681 error expected SQL error aura 0001 unique consent so as we know so this is like little uh, misleading error so it says a unique consent but the root cause might be different so the actual description will look like this error messages SIP 10131 data access error in running cleans boot and then some other error which we already discuss at the top the root cause of this issue is when we load data by row id and once we're done with that the row id and piki source passed whenever we pass the row id object and piki source to the clean spot request and in the case uh, whenever we load whenever we do the load by row id object and if you pass the row id and the piki source for the clean spot and the row id object and the piki source are different in that case this error will occur so it, this scenario is only happen whenever you do the load by row id and for the clean spot if you are sending row id and the piki source those are different then you will get this error so in order to fix this error we have to pass the correct value for the row id and the piki source that means the row id and piki source should be same if you are doing the load by row id and if you are updating the record using these two row id and piki source using clean spot api then you have to pass row id and piki source with the same value next error is sip 20883 error apply logs failed for a 996 code SQL error was Aura00996. The concat operator is pipe symbol two times or pipe symbol single time. Even this error is mentioning it's about the pipe character, but the actual error might be different. So, but you will get this generic error. The root cause for this issue is clean spot request contains a single code. So normally if data contains a single code it is a escape we need to provide one escape character for that because it is treated as a special character in the database so clean spot request contains any string or a single code character and it is contributing to the piki source object if your piki source column is populated with a value which contain the single code you will get this error now how to fix this you still want single code in your PK source object then either first thing if it is not required then just remove that single code but in case if you require that sometimes we uh, in the PK source we use some uh, unique value from the source system so that source system unique column might have the single codes in that case if you want the single code in your PK source you have to append one more single code just before that and do the your clean spot request uh, you can process the clean spot request so this is the way to fix this issue so if you encounter the single code special character while processing clean spot request then pass two times single code for the piki source object column whenever you process the clean spot api so if you see any such issue you can have this solution now the next error is communication error no route to host occurs when making a request to the process server so by looking at the error you will definitely come to know it is something related to the server yes that's true it's related to the server no route to the host host means it's related to the server system so description is clean spot call through a custom java code throws below error communication error no route to the host occur when making a request to the process server so you are doing some cleansing kind of operation or if you are using the clean spot api then normally this error occurs the root cause for this issue is when only because in real time we don't get only one node it is always a cluster i have the multiple nodes suppose you have the node one node two and node three so when the only node one is active and the remaining nodes are down due to which the process server still has node 2 and node 3 online so in the mdm hub 
we if you see there are option we can make the nodes process server node online or offline so in really in real cluster if node 1 is active and node 2 and node 3 are down and still in the mdm hub those are treated as online in that case you will get this error because the request might go to the node 2 or node 3 so how to fix that so just go to the mdm hub and make node 2 and node 3 offline so that will fix this issue so these are this few of the uh, examples or of the issues one which we can encounter while using the cleans boot api or related to the cleans functionality i hope this tutorial will definitely help you to improve your knowledge about the cleans boot api if you have any questions or queries about mdm hub then you can mention in the video below thank you for watching my video and do not subscribe my channel for more interesting update on mdm hub Thank you and have a nice time.